Painting a room is easy peasy, with a roller and a tray. If you have a convulsion to slap on emulsion, you could have it done in a day. <laughs> there are mainly two types of finish for water-based emulsion. Matte finish helps to hide some bumps and lumps. Silk finish is easier to keep clean but highlights the defects. This is the matte finish emulsion. This is a silk finish emulsion. I prefer matte. Avoid oil-based paint with the symbol Clean Brushes and White Spirit. It's mainly for painting woodwork. You can either go for a colour straight from the shelf or mix your own. Emulsion will mix easily with other water-based paints, so if you buy white emulsion, you can add small quantities of a strong colour to get what you want. This is a water-based colouring paint. Add some colour to white emulsion. Just add a little at a time. Mix in the colour thoroughly, very thoroughly. Okay, I'm doing that. Keep mixing till all the colour has completely gone. If you don't, you might get streaks in the paintwork. You can also use acrylic paint mixed with white using a small brush. Try different shades to get what you want. Paint a small area, then leave it to dry. It will get lighter. Mix enough paint for two coats, just a little water for thinning. For coverage, refer to the tin. For defects, Use the decorator's filler and fill the gaps at the skirting for a quality finish. Don't use silicon sealant, no, you can't paint over that. Slacken light switches and sockets. Create a small gap at the switch, 2 millimeters is enough to make it easier for painting. You can do a similar thing elsewhere. Before you start, protect the carpets, etc. In fact, protect everything from splashes. Yes. Now we're just about ready to start. A 50mm brush is big enough, and a 7-inch roller and tray is big enough, especially if you're just new to this. OK, now we should be ready to start. So, pour some paint into the tray. Okay. Now you'll get some drips, so wipe it up with the brush. Now apply some paint to the roller. Start by painting with the brush. Apply some paint at the ceiling and at the vertical point or the corner of a room. Just do a small area to start. Then continue with the roller. Paint up to the brushed on paint. Take your time and cover it evenly. If you rush, it will just cause splashes. Don't let an area dry out too much. If you do, you will see the overlap. Carry on to complete one wall at a time. Take your time. If you're right-handed, work from right to left. Here are a few things that makes painting a bit easier. An extension pole helps, but you still need a stepladder to finish up the ceiling. A small 4-inch roller is useful. You can use it for painting behind radiators, etc. If you can't finish the job in a day, wrap the tray and the roller in a plastic bag and that will keep it from drying out. When you're completely finished, Clean everything thoroughly in warm water. Job done. More videos on household repair maintenance to follow.